doing to you. Yeah. Okay. It's okay? Sure, of course. Can you tell me a little bit about this work? And did you ever do stained glass? Uh, there's no stained glass on this. There's stained glass on the chandelier over there. But uh, I, uh, there's many different techniques that I'm using, and also I pretend to be using here because I approach everything as an amateur. So. I try to do quite difficult things that require a lot of knowledge, but then I don't really have the required knowledge to, to do them, but I do them with no fear. Uh, so there is marketry there, but uh, I, I really have no idea how to do it. And there is something that looks like stained glass, which is actually thermoform plastic on a, a copper wire a structure I made. Um, and what is that up there? It's almost like embroidery. Uh, on top, on the clock. Oh, no, you oh, yeah. this, one. this is uh, made with uh, uh, a 3D pen, so it's melted plastic on top of a transparent plastic sleeve. And then the clock is made of uh, embroidery and electronics. It's metal and wood. The idea is that on the bottom is the mineral, it's five layers of materials, five families. Uh, from heavier to lighter, so in the bottom is a layer of minerals and then above is a layer of metals and then above is a layer of wood, plastic and textile and then you could also read it from left to right as from more processed to more uh, raw. Uh, so here the material is more worked and uh, more into detail and more clear lines and then on the right I kind of accept the natural state of the material uh, here, for example, I start with glazed ceramics, then unglazed ceramics with a bit more of a freedom, let's say, plaster and concrete to stones and just uh, the core of the material. Okay.